This is an example where we've got three intersecting surfaces and we want to be able to trim those out with history on so we can see the whole thing updating because as you can see at the moment it's very difficult to tell what's going on with all of these intersecting surfaces. Now to create a trim of course we need to have a complete boundary so if we look at this top surface here if I go into trim and we don't want 3D trimming on we want trim divide history on for sure um, but this top surface here if I pick on that you can see there is a complete boundary you can tell that by the green dots there when we come to pick the location which we want to keep we want to make sure it's well away from these curves on surface if I pick it too close to that curve on surface and that changes if it goes inboard of that then we're going to have the trimming on the wrong side so in this case I would just trim it right across there that would be the, the point to to save there. So that's got that um, trimmed out. This means that if we update any of the other surfaces then so if I take this surface for example and I change the um, CVs on here so let's pick the whole hull here and I'm just going to move that in and out and you can see that the history is updating that top surface so that's great. Problem is on this surface if I try and trim that one you can see there's a a pink dot there the green and green so that's okay but this one will not trim and um, so we need to do something about that so the simplest solution to do to do that is to create a curve off the end of the curve on surface and it can just be a straight line if you want it doesn't actually have to have it doesn't have to follow one in, in the shape at all but if I just create one I'm just going to drag it along to the end of there make sure it's on the end and then we just go off in the X direction there now if I try and trim to that and then update the surface that's going to break uh, because there's no history so we need to align that curve to the curve on surface so if we go into object edit and we say align now you can just put G1 on that's perfectly fine if you don't care about the shape of that which you probably don't or we can put G2 on if you prefer a more refined version we've got to have history on here so let's go and align that to the end of the curve on surface making sure there's one arrow there so it's right on the end if there isn't and it looks like that then make sure you drag it right to the end there and then because I've got G2 on I'll put uh, degree 2 on there so that we get that sh shape just continuing it'll just make a smoother result than having G1 but there's nothing wrong with having G1 on this and the other thing is we want to make sure that this curve is way beyond the end of this surface otherwise when we project it on it's not going to always trim out when we move these CVs around so the other thing we need to do now is to go back into trim and we can use 3d trimming here I've got create history on the projection so in other words when we project that curve onto that surface it's going to update as we change the surfaces and the other thing is we want the history on the trim trimming itself the trim divide history down here so you, those, those are the important things so if I go and pick that of course we get this red dot again but now we can pick this curve which now gives us a curve on surface in this area and once again I need to make sure that my trim point is way down here um, away from the curves on surface it can be right in the middle if you want to uh, but just make sure it's away from those curves on surface and then we can trim that so now we can see that that's trimmed out and we'll we can then modify the, the CVs and just see what happens to that so if I move that out like that you can see that that's, that's updating if I move it in the X direction again it updates if I bring it too far back here it stops updating the top surface because there's no curve on surface right to the end there and if that's a problem then you could either extend this surface out a bit further so we, let's do that so let's extend that if it'll let us do it and so I've most just about managed to do that you can see it's going a bit mad because I've pulled those CVs in so far but it all depends on how much of a change you might want to do with the with the surfaces that you've got we don't actually need the CVs actually on that curve because we're not going to modify them they just get updated with history um, through the align function there now we could do the same thing um, on this surface because you notice that one is also doesn't quite the curve on surface doesn't quite reach the edge there so we could put a, a curve in there um, that's one option another possibility 
um, is if we go into side view there we could actually put in a dummy surface down here just to trim everything to and that's a, and actually a very good solution when you've got lots of surfaces so in this case I'm just going to put in a surface just above the the bottom of this this edge here and so, so we're going to start off with a line I'm going to use MS draft in this case and we'll just draft a surface out um, now if you want to be absolutely certain so if I don't take if I take double-sided off of course that curve is absolutely bang on the same position as this edge if you're in any doubt as to whether that edge might change I mean it will affect the trimming on the top as well but just to make sure that this absolutely covers everything go for double sided it's a safer option and the other thing is if you feel that this surface is going to come out at all just make the length longer it doesn't matter how long you make make it to be honest you might even extend it in these directions and then you're guaranteed that it's always going to trim so we'll do that we don't need history on here um, so in control options I have got history on but we don't really need it and in fact we don't really need that curve unless you're going to move that surface there's no point in having that so I'm just going to delete that curve we don't need, to need that so now we've got um, a, an intersect potentially between these surfaces and that bottom surface so let's go and pick those two surfaces there and then we can put an intersect in so if we're going to surface edit intersect both surfaces create history in fact we don't need both surfaces because unless we're trimming this bottom surface out then we don't need to worry about that so I could just say on first surface and then it'll just put the cursor surface there um, this bottom surface we can we can actually hide it or we can um, make it into a template so if I just go and make that invisible so I'm just going to say toggle um, display invisible rather and then we can do the same again with trimming so we can trim this we don't need 3d trimming because we've now got a complete boundary if I pick on there you can see that boundary is complete there the green dots everywhere again pick this trim point well away from all of those curves on surface and then same on here pick it away from those curves on surface if you do apps if you do happen to put the trim point too close to the edge it's not the end of the world because you can just untrim it later and retrim it with a new point it just means that when you try and um, move edges around you may find the trimming goes the wrong way so let's have a look at that shaded up so now we should be able to modify any of our um, CVs here so you can see that that updates um, we can do that on any of those surfaces so let's put some CVs on there and see what happens so let's move this hole here normal to the surface so you can see that that's a point where it starts to break down because that surface doesn't quite go far enough and if that's the case like we did on this end here you might extend that edge so if I pick that edge even though it might be trimmed you can extend it and you just have to extend it beyond the point that you do you want if it starts to curve up um, then you might need to to move that upwards um, in the Z direction in this case you could always move it up that way as well if it starts to curve up too much or you just adjust those those points around so that one I've accidentally moved it in the Y direction which then means that we don't have a curve on surface on that top surface going all the way to the end so that was just a mistake on my part but if we move it up and down in Z or move it in X it should stay trimmed So this one will move it in, in the, out the Y direction. So the beauty of this is you can have a, what looks like a complete model and you can see, you can modify that. Um, if you want to, you could take the, you know, take the, all of the lines off, of course, to see what that shape looks like and then bring them back on when you want to, to move the CVs around.